Kim So Hee of South Korea, the defending world champion. And she's marching in in blue. And Anastasia Valueva of Russia. That's not official WTF headgear, but she does look very fetching in her army regalia. That's awesome, huh? Nice touch. Nice touch, I like it. And I think that's one of the things with Taekwondo now, with the wonderful news that Taekwondo will stay in the Olympic in Games. Blue. People seem to have relaxed a little bit. We have a little Korea. bit more confidence and so knowledge that we are a proper sport, a proper core in Olympic Azul. sport. You know, Taekwondo is so, there's so much parity around the so world. There's so many countries that, you know, every walks of life, every continent has some Represent really Russia. amazing athletes. And it's, it's really great to see that uh, and it's, you know, Russia you know, burst on the scene a few years ago. And, it's just the diversity is really neat and you know wearing a, a military hat in from your country representing your country's you know army or whatever brand of military it was is uh it's pretty neat yeah it's awesome to see awesome to see and as we've seen so far from anastasia valueva she's got the game to trouble kim suhi here i'm excited about this match because uh you know, kim suhi is she's good she's not overpowering though and we saw you know valueva she's very strong for a, you know, for a you know, lightweight category Flexible, dynamic, spins well. Um, this is going to be a great match because uh, she's here to she's here to win a gold medal. I, I'll tell you right now, she's not satisfied with the silver medal. Imagine that to your resume: a Youth Olympic Games gold medal and a World Championship in your first time out. Sounds really nice. Pretty impressive. Could be. Well, let's see how we go here. It is the first round of the first day of the first final. The female minus 46 kilogram. Finweights, they've served up great entertainment all day. It's Kim So Hee of South Korea, the defending world champion. She's in blue. And she's going against the slightly taller Anastasia Valueva of Russia. And Valueva switched her stance. In the semifinal, she was all left leg. And look at that, she came out right leg. Showing a little bit there. Wow. She is dynamic, let me tell you. This Kim, be a good match. Yep, Kim So Hee not slow to try and vary it there, trying with a, a jumping technique. Unusual in the first round of a final, but these ladies look fresh, they look strong. And unusual for a Korean athlete, and they're very cagey, as sure. you mentioned before. They like to kind of see what your, your distance, your timing, your length, and uh, she came right out in the jumping kick. There it is again, just maybe a tactic that she's worked on with her coach, trying to, to change up over the shoulder there cut followed by the chop kick but Anastasia Valueva a little bit more active given lots of feints as you mentioned before Juan. you know I, the one thing that Kim is not going to do is get into a little see how she moves away instead of just picking her leg up and, and kind of having that uh, fencing match that uh, the Tunisian athlete did so it's going to be a little bit different a uh, little bit different tempo of a match you see your experience you're just not going to engage with that and say you know I'm not going to fall into your strength Pretty so smart from Kim so far. Absolutely. So important to turn your foes' strengths against them. Not much on doing on the scoreboard so far, but plenty of action. And so important with these electronic protectors, Juan, to be able to cover well, to be able to block. It's a new thing. You know, nowadays, uh, these athletes, their, their defenses have gotten really good. They know how to get their head out of the way to avoid the face points. Their, their hands are low, covering things, crossing them up. Oh, two points in a row. Was it spin kick? I'm not sure. I looked away for a second, but two points registered very, very quickly. Well, that's big because it's going to force uh, Anastasia to come out, you know, open up a little bit. And she could, again, like we've said, run into that front leg to the body or to the face. But that two point game just shows you how quickly it can change. We were intently watching the action. We might get a chance to see the replay. You know what's really interesting about it? Again, you know. Anastasia is so dynamic and she wants to, I mean, she, she has that youth kind of style of a match where she just wants it to be kind of, you know, dynamic, helter-skelter, back and forth, but uh, Kim didn't allow her to. She paid, she was, it was the back kick. Of course, double points for any spinning technique. A wonderful technique. Great timing. Yeah, lovely. Good to see. No substitute for timing, distance. Beautiful. Perfect execution. See, what I'm noticing about Kim is that she's doing so well. She's controlling the tempo. She has better distance control. She's making, she's she's out of the zone or she's in the zone. There's no mix where you give the younger fighter some, you know, ability to, to land that face kick or uh, the spin kick. 
Let's see what kind of adjustments the, the Russian coach makes here. Adjustments will be needed because Kim So Hee has a useful two point lead. Not a massive lead, as we know, the game can change very quickly with one kick. But Anastasia Valerie have just almost got caught in the headlights there, blocked in the Kim So Hee's attempted headshot. Great athleticism from both so far. with that push kick good cover from the korean drops the arm nice motions nice faking yeah Very she's composed. Really, really under control i mean you know experience is showing here a little bit this is what a final match you know looks like i mean these athletes are they're so they're so smart they're so strong they're gonna you know they're not gonna unravel they're gonna just try to pick their shots try to stay calm fall into a, a nice pattern and see you know make it a chess match see who can come out with the with the the shot at the right time. Yeah, all about timing and distance in Taekwondo. That's why we keep making mention of the length of the legs. It, it does change the dynamic of the fight. Nice skipping, turning kick there from Kim so of Korea. Tries with the double. Again, these points not going on in the scoreboard, but they're giving Anastasia Valueva a lot to think about. Yes, and I was just going to say that you know Anastasia, she's she has to be very careful right now because she's falling into the wrong the wrong speed of the match, and she just. Um, it's almost like uh, Kim is playing with her, kind of you know, step sparring with her, just saying, oh, let's just kind of relax here a little bit. And you know, meanwhile, the, the time is going down. Meanwhile, she's you know getting close to scoring another point. And Bella Wave is, you know, Anastasia is going to look and say, wait a minute, it's the third round and I'm losing here by three or four points. So she's got to be careful. Absolutely. But if any nation is strong at getting into the opponent's head, it is the Koreans. But well, a video replay here. I'm not sure what it was for. Let's see. I think it may have been a kick after Calio. Oh, yeah. There you go. Good call. I'm not sure. It could be. Yeah, I think the, the Russian coach was saying that you know, he was pointing that he gave the Calio sign and then there was a kick. So let's see. That would be a gamble on a full point deduction. Well, it would be only a Kyungo because a point didn't score. Ah. So if a point scored, then of course, then it has to be an automatic come down. If not, it could be unintentional and just a half point would be given. Great insight there, great updates on the rules. Thanks for that one, man. But the, the Russian coach, sharp eyed, he noticed it. We've seen some good coaching so far. But it's important because if he does get this kill, it's a two to one match. Sure. Let's see, here we go. Perhaps on the blind side of, of the Korean. Yeah, you know, you really can't fault the athlete. I don't think she's doing, trying to do anything intentional. And if her foot even leaves a, a centimeter off the mat before the referee actually starts her her, her break of the action, she's okay. Let's see, that's pretty close. Yeah, I think Kim So he actually looked at the referee and then looked back. So we shall see. Jesevich Pedar of Serbia, the center referee. She's involved in this video replay. I believe that's Puerto Rican referee, actually. Good call. I've been handed the, the wrong oh, ones no, here. No, 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 Javier is Nedis of Puerto Rico. So he's declined. That was a tough one to call. I mean, it, it was marginal. There's a double kick out of the clinch. Actually, that was a big point right there because it kept a two-point lead. Jumping kick again. That's a little strange. We haven't seen that from her today. Sure. But it's not always the kicks that score the points that make the difference. That's yeah. given Valueva a pause for thought. She tries with the reverse. Doesn't score. But it's been a good second round for Kim So Hee, the defending champion, as she marches back. She keeps that two point lead. It's a scary lead. It's a scary position, two points. You know, you, you feel comfortable, but you know all it takes is that little flick of the headgear and you're down by a point. So it's, you're really in an in-between state. When you're losing, you know you're gonna go for it. You know what you have to do. But with a two-point lead, you have to make a decision. Are you gonna try to shut them down? Are you going to, you know, try to continue to build on the lead and run the risk of getting countered? It's a it's a tough lead. I mean, for me as a coach, I that's one that I struggle with all the time. Sure. But I think we've seen so far that the aggressor has profited. Even when they were ahead, they didn't get too cagey in, in both of the, the men and, and the female action so far. So Let's see if that holds true here. Absolutely. Will Fox favor the brave? As Kim So-hee of South Korea. 
trots back out. And it is Nedis Habares of Puerto Rico, as you rightly called it, one the centre referee. She brings Anastasia Valeva back out. It's all to play for in this third period. This is for all the marbles. Who's going to be the world champion 2013? World champion gold medalist. So he tries with the skip and kick high, block there, covered again. The Korean maybe playing to the referee a little bit, looking for the Kyungo eventually down the stretch. I think Anastasia, again, we, we know she's, is she gonna hold here? A leg block? Is that Kyungo right enough? You have to watch that, those, those last couple of Kyungos can come into play here. And as you said, Juan during the break, it's not good to stay too passive. Kim So he does have a lead, but it is a slender one at the moment. And as we'll see with Anastasia Valueva, she does have the competency to spin to go high. She's going to have to use it here because it's now into the business end of this World Championship final. There's only a minute left. Will she force the action or will Kim So he use her strength and fitness? There you go, she popped off a back leg roundhouse kick, snuck through the guard of Anastasia, and built a lead to three. Now, I tell you, Anastasia. And she'd be wise to, to keep keeping uh, the pressure on her because I think she could draw another deduction. Um, the referee has a, a quick quick trigger, you know, de de definitely uh, penalizes the athlete when she feels the beautiful spin kick attack. Wow, four points. I didn't know if it registered, but obviously it did. There's a spinning kick by the Anastasia for two points. Beautiful comeback. Great action in the final stages here of this World Championship final. Kim So Hee. Scores with a spinning head kick, which makes it a massive five point gap. But Anastasia Valueva kept herself in the match. She tries with the head shot. And again. there it is. Wow, she's right back. Okay, now she's going to challenge it. And another one. She's losing. Wow. Nice. Wow. See, the athlete made a mistake because she knew that they were going to challenge it, but she stopped fighting, and Anastasia didn't. And wow, six points in a matter of seconds. Actually, eight points. A spinning, uh, spinning roundhouse kick and two acts kicks back to back. Wow, that is great. And there's an awful lot riding on this video replay here because it comes down to Bruce Harris of the USA. He's got to look at this and see what's going on because that head kick could have been also after Calio. There you go, that's true. So now it's gonna be interesting, which one is he going to, uh, you, can't, you can't do them both, you yeah, have to do one. Absolutely. I, I believe he's gonna go with the first one because the, the Kim said that she didn't think it hit. She told him, she gave him the signal that uh, didn't score. But if it did, those six points are staying on the board. Well, an incredible finale here. These females have fought with great heart and great determination, but it comes down to Navarez. Will she be giving gold to Korea or gold to Russia? Great anticipation. Regardless of what happens, I'm very, uh, I'm very impressed with Anastasia to come back um, and, and just even make it close. If the points come off the board, what a, what a comeback! But I tell you what, on the flip side of it, what a debacle for Kim. Yeah. To give up literally eight points in a matter of 30 seconds is just unacceptable for a, you know, former world champion and you know, on the verge of closing this match out very simply. I think there's some, dis some question of what actually they're trying to. Would you want to be in that seat? No, <laughs> not at all. No chance. No chance. These guys have done a great job all day, but there's so much action went into that last And remember, there. it has to be conclusive evidence. Sure. It has to be, you know, it has to be black and white that it didn't hit or it did hit. Sure. So the points on the board, so it has to be black and white that it did not hit. Very key to know. Bruce Harris of the USA and Thomas from Dartfish there having a strong discussion and the right to take their time. This is the biggest decision for these athletes in their lifetime because this will decide who will be the 2013 world champion. This is why we have the video replay. No, this is absolutely, they take their time, get the right call. And you're right, this is why we have the video replay because if not, this match is over. Yeah. You know, Russia wins. I mean, yeah. right now, Korea, needs this to go their way. Huge anticipation. The massive crowd has gone absolutely silent. They're beginning now to 
try and get there. We can see just a shot over the shoulder, which made it 9-8. We just had a nice view there. The second one hit for sure. Yeah. But the first one, they can't tell. Watch the referee, Calio. Okay, that was... And then after, there was the other action. We'll see. Just like you guys at home, I hope you're enjoying this. If you've tuned in to find out what Taekwondo is all about, it's all about kicking, it's all about punching, it's all about skill, but it's also about the anticipation here. Oh, definitely. So, well, I'll tell you what, Anastasia actually got the benefit of the doubt because only one of those three are probably going to come off. One of those, one of those two head kicks. Actually, three points, leave it off. Yep, three points are off. Kim so here, South Korea. Hey, it's still a three, two point match. Is there enough time for Anastasia Valueva? Imagine. Ten seconds left. The Russian pouring it on, trying to go for it. There's a reverse turning kick from Kim Suhi. She falls in the action. Will she One take second. a Kyungo? She'll take the Kyungo. She'll take the deduction. One second left in the match. All she has to do is not run away. One second or one point. The jumping kick from Kim Suhi. Back to back world champions. Ships for Kim from South Korea. Crowd is not happy about it. They were looking for the upset. They were pulling for Anastasia. What a great, a great opportunity for a great chance. Definitely gave it her all. Amazing, uh, amazing effort for her. Wonderful, wonderful effort from Kim So Hee. Wonderful effort from Anastasia Valueva. Lovely sportsmanship from both fighters there. They gave it absolutely everything in such of the finest of margins that we called on the referees, we called on the video replay judges. But to crown Kim So Hee, double world champion, 2013 WTF world champion, Kim So Hee, but wonderful ovation for Anastasia Valueva. Great match, you know, I mean, you couldn't ask for a better final match coming down to the last second. You know, Kim, two-time world champion, as you mentioned, definitely deserves a, a lot of credit for getting through the tough day. And the stars uh, are lining for Anastasia. I think she's going to be a, a big, uh, she has a, definitely have a big future in this sport. Sure. Great, great display from her today. And, I had a feeling coming into this final that she was going to be able to put on a great show because, you know, watching her through the day and then that semifinal was something else. And she has a, she has a making of a future world champion for sure. Absolutely, and that experience will have served her well, but it is all about Kim So Hee. She was acrobatic, she was accurate, she persevered to the end, she grabbed the gold. And such are the contrasting fortune of these fighters. The split second difference. Just that little bit of experience for Kim of Korea. She grabs gold, but 